Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you so much for joining me here at the Galaxy with God Love Notes. I really want to thank you so much, my new and returning subscribers for all your energies here. Thank you so much for being a part of my journey, a part of my soul tribe. I really appreciate you one and all. All right, I'm going to be doing a general reading for the collectives, but um, keep in mind it's going to be a general reading, which may or may not resonate with everyone. Please use your discernment. You take what you can and leave the rest. Okay, Holy Spirit, what's the message you have for the collective energies? Give me the cards that best describe the energies. I have the strength in the reverse. The card that best describes the energies. Thank you. Hmm. Someone could need to work on their strength, their self love, their positive side. Someone could need to work on themselves. I have the Eight of Pentacles. Someone need to work on themselves. They need to master a particular craft. Whatever this person needs to do, they need to enjoy the work that they're doing. But with the strength in the reverse, it seems as if whatever they're doing, it's not feeling as if it's worth doing. At the back of the deck, I have the Six of Pentacles. Equal give and take. They believe whatever they are working on could be a relationship, a partnership, a friendship, but whatever they are giving into is not feeling as if it's equally shared or someone is giving more than the other. Anything else? What else do I need to see? Oh, I got four cards. I'll just take them. I have a ten of cups. So whatever this person would be working on could be a family situation, a friendship, a close bond. This is um ten of cups energy where you should have complete love and support, equal give and take. But with the strength in the reverse, someone is not feeling as if whatever they are working for, and with the eight of pentacles. They don't feel as if what, whatever they are working for or the family that they are working for is even worth their energy. Hmm. I have a three of swords. So this is creating a lot of heartbreak or pain, even a divorce, causing depression, um, heartbreak completely. This this person is feeling well trapped in whatever family situation they're in. The Eight of Swords is here. Someone is feeling as if their soul is being placed in a box, feeling as if they're not able to move forward, feeling blindfolded. I have the Ace of Cups. This could be a new love that they this person went into. This person went into a new friendship, a new love, or some bond. But this bond turned out to be a close turned out to be possibly they marry this person and with a three of cups they could even be thinking about getting a divorce because there's no equal give and take in this i have the nine of pentacles here so this was supposed to be a nine of pentacles relationship that was their that was what they were hoping for with the relationship to be fulfilling to be a luxurious to be a gain for them but instead, they're coming up as maybe even filing for a divorce. Very depressed, very lost in their thoughts, not feeling as if they're stuck now, not able to move. Anything with this three of swords? I have a seven of cups. So this heartbreak, can I find this um, three of swords card? I have the seven of cups. So the seven of cups is telling me um, this person had many options, but they chose a particular person, a particular relationship, and this one that they created it created is causing heartbreak or heartache for them. What's this ten of cups? Which card best describes ten of cups? Is clarified by the queen of cups. <laughs> oh boy. So they believe this Ten of Cups person that they joined with 
was a queen of cups. So this person feel as if they disguised their energy so well to the point where they weren't able to see it. They saw a queen of possibly a queen of cups in the reverse as the queen of cups in the upright. So they completely misjudged this person. But after they went into this relationship or this bond, they realized that they were the only one. You can always switch the role. They're the only one, <clears throat> excuse me, giving to the relationship because this created for them low self-esteem. It strength in the reverse. This person had low self-esteem. They start um, because of the way they feel like they're treated, the love that they think they have unconditional for this person, they realize this was under certain condition. So this person's self-love and everything feel as if it was getting depleted. Anything with the strength in the reverse? Strength in the reverse. I have the king of wands. So we could be speaking about the fire sign. Leo Sagittarius. Aries. I have the Ten of Pentacles and I have the Five of Pentacles. So with the strength in the reverse, this King of Wands is going through some financial loss. I have the Ten of Pentacles here anyways, but they went into a relationship seeing it as a Ten of Pentacles. But at the end of it, there was no equal give and take. They have going through heartbreak. They're feeling trapped. They're feeling as if everything that they have worked for is going to shambles. And I have also the five of pentacles. So their financial loss, their pentacles are, they're losing their pentacles. They're maybe overspending on a particular situation, person, maybe paying rent, buying cars, doing everything, paying all the bills for this person. And at the same time, the love that they are supposed to share was supposed to be unconditional. But this person loved them under certain condition. Possibly if they're only able to pay their bills, then they love them. Oh, Lord. That's what I'm getting. Eight of Pentacles, please. Eight of Pentacles. I have a King of Cups in the reverse. Very manipulative. So somebody could be manipulating this person or the other way around. This person is coming out as being very cold. So whoever they entangle themselves with, whoever they put themselves with is very cold. This person could even be very moody most of the time. If they're not able, if the person is not able to give them what they want, when they want it, how they want it, they could even create fights in this bond, this relationship, this type of cop relationship that they grow to join with. So now this person is working on something that's not growing because someone is not giving equally. Someone is just giving while someone is just taking. Eight of eight, eight could be important here. Eight of swords. Hmm. I have a ten of cups. So they are trapped in a bond, as I said before. They are the ten of cups, and I have a ten of cups over here again. So this bond that they are trapped in is a marriage. The ten of the three of swords. They could be going through a divorce. Whatever they are working for, they feel as if they are worked in their entire life for something that's worth nothing. This is I have a ten of wands at the back. This is a lot of burden for this person. Someone is just sitting there, not want possibly not wanting to work, not wanting to help them, just wanting to collect, seeing the person as if the person is nobody, just collecting what they can. I have the hangman here. So someone has seen things in a different perspective and they are willing now to let go of whatever this burden is. Yeah, they want to come back home. Wherever home they consider to be home, they want to leave there to go back home. Okay? Not feeling fulfilled from, I mean, wherever they are. Yes, feeling trapped, not sure. They know they have made a wrong decision to collaborate with this person. The hermit card being here. They know they are needing to let go. I don't want the reading to be too long. Anything else? But this Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. What's the message with the Ace of Cups? The Moon. <laughs> with this Moon card, what I'm getting with this is um, someone is hiding something. 
someone could be hiding the fact that they are married, not wanting you to know with this Ace of Cups. It was a, maybe a new proposal that they got. They went on straight into the proposal. They got married and they want to keep this as a secret. Yeah. They want to keep it from you. Anything else with this moon? The fool in the reverse. <laughs> The fool in the reverse, no disrespect, but is actually saying this person was not really wise. This person behaved, act stupidly. Yeah, they were not prepared for what they did, but even then, that was a very poor judgment. They were lacking direction. Whatever they did, they went on to doing it, and they were a fool. Okay, anything else? Yeah. Nine of Wands in the reverse. They, they are struggling wherever they went. This is creating a lot of exhaustion for them. They're very burdened by whatever this is that they put themselves in. They're feeling as if the world is coming to an end. I have the world card here. So someone or you or someone else could have seen the bigger picture. Wanting to put an ending to a situation or is putting an ending to the situation. But whatever the case is. This is creating a lot of internal turmoil for them. Yeah. They want to be by themselves. They don't want to be in this bond anymore. They want to retreat. They want to protect their peace. But this person feel as if they throw tantrum. If they can't get what they want, they create issue in the, in the, in the, in the relationship. Anything else? I close a reading. Anything else? I close a reading. I have the magician in the reverse. This person is trying to manifest you, collective, but their manifestation skills, it's not happening. It's not working with, for them. Their energy is too scattered for them to manifest you back into their energy. They want to reach out to you. They want to even send you a call. They want to text you, but whatever the situation is, they're out of touch with their own emotion and they have to they have to balance themselves first before they're able to come forward. Hmm. This person um could be believing an illusion. Wherever they went was just an illusion. So they are not able to manifest, but someone luck is on the up is on the up scale up and up. So maybe you could be working on something else. Your your um karma is good. You're, you're handed a new material offer or you were a new offer to this person and what happened with this ace of pentacles and the wheel of fortune the lovers thank you holy spirit yeah so you are gonna be handed a new ace of pentacles a new offer a new promotion a new opportunity new manifestation something that is in the material realm and you're gonna be lucky you're gonna be your luck is gonna be how do i say you're gonna have good luck <laughs> in other words you're gonna have good luck could be even a lover situation that you're gonna put your that you're gonna find yourself in you're gonna be possibly in a lover situation or you're gonna have to make a choice as to what or who you're gonna choose I have the nine of pentacles. Whatever you're going to be choosing will be wish fulfillment. I have the star flipping out here. We'll be dealing with an Aquarius. What else do we have? We have a Leo. We have um, Gemini energies here, Pisces, Aries. Mm. Who else do we have? Who else do we have? That's basically who we have so far. Yes, yeah, so we have um the star. So someone could be hoping on a star, wanting to get back to you, or you wanting to get back to them. Because this this separation between you and them, they well, they left you sneakily to form a bond of a ten of cups with someone else they didn't use their strength they did not use their intuition they did not use 
any discernment going forward. Whatever they worked on or is working on, they're putting so much work on it. And even then, whatever they're working on is feeling as if it's, they're working themselves to a pulp and nothing. there's no profit because there's no equal give and take in a relationship. They went on forward believing it was going to be a nine of pentacles, but this is creating burden for them, heartache, and this person is hiding something or they hid something from you going and went into a different direction, collaborating with this person. Now they're, it, it's burdening them. They left. They move in, this, in the direction towards this person because they were foolish. So now they're struggling. Their manifestation is in the reverse. The, um, I almost hit you right? The magician is in the reverse, so they're not able to manifest you back. They're coming up as a fool, and this was a lover situation. There's an ending to, the, to that relationship or situation with a star, Gemini. Sorry, why keep on saying Gemini? An Aquarius. The lovers is here, which is Gemini's energy, and I also have the Wheel of Fortune. So your luck is on the upscale. You're coming out as a Ten of Cups, King of Cups, or Nine of Cups. And someone is seeing you as a wish fulfillment. They are coming up as a king of wands, very natural born leader, very bold. But wherever they went, that was their downfall. This created havoc for them. They um seeing you as a queen of cups, very warm, very loving, very intuitive too. But they went into the wrong direction. Any guidance going forward? Any guidance? Yes, you're moving forward. They have the Six of Swords. So you're transitioning. You're leaving behind anything that is creating turmoil in your life. You could be moving by boat, ship, water, or somewhere, shape, or form, but you're leaving. You're accepting a lesson that you've learned from the situation, and you're leaving. You're standing your ground. You are even more mentally agile now. After going through this, you are, you know more. You have learned from the situation with chariot being here, could be dealing with a cancer. You are moving forward, as I just said. All right, I have the hermit. Why did I say hermit? The hat. Mm. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have the hierophant. The hierophant is here. So you could be even getting more spiritual knowledge. As I said, you are growing, you're moving forward, you're learning from the lesson. The lesson you could have learned is that you are now able to connect spiritually to the divine with the higher fact. This is my God card anyways. And I have a two of cups. Yeah. So this could be a close bond. I have the emperor taking control of your life. And this is your justice. While someone is sitting over there having sleepless nights and burden with a family that they chose, hide and chose behind your back, but now you're moving forward, leaving them in the chaos or the mess that they created. So, collectives, if this reading resonates with you or you just happen to like the reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this message. These readings are all over the place these days. I'm not sure why, but let me know if it resonates and um, have a good night. Thanks. Goodbye.